Hugh saying, think timing. My God, this is all having to line up beautifully, and it has to. It has to be so precise. You got to understand. When they say trust the plan, the plan isn't a fixed thing in the future. I see a lot of people having these sorts of, like, attachments or false expectations that's letting them down, and then they get butt hurt, and they start hating on Q. It's not that. The only thing that's specified is the generalization that the deep state is going down. It's going to happen in a particular way that you just can't attach to and get butthurt about. So I take a deep dive. Watch out, Q. Coming for you. Ah, coming for you. Ah. So I want to, um, I want to dive in. I want to take a deep dive into Q. I've been watching some very interesting YouTube, uh, YouTube investigative journalists, you know, storytellers or whatever they're called today. Right? This, guy, this guy fucking Jordan Seether. I want to tell you a story first. I, so like when i was uh when i, I is this 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 story is is kind of interesting when i was uh i used to live in in lower manhattan and uh it was this it was this uh group i, I had a friend right he used to go to he used to go to these uh bible bible study right now it's not a goof on bibles it's not a goof on religion it's it's just merely stating the fact of the reason why my buddy used to go to the bible studies because it was just like they they would meet out in Central Park and I was all these fucking hot chicks. I right? fucking shit was crazy. Right? He says, he told me he says you got to come to Bible study, man. You got to come to Bible study. And I told him I said I'm not you know I'm not I'm not religious. I'm not none of those things, you know. But he says it's not about that. It's about fucking. It's about the, the Bhutan, right? <laughs> you, you know. And but I said but don't. I thought they. I thought they don't, you know, I thought they don't, uh, there's no whoopee before marriage, right? He says, nah, man, not, that's not what's going on, man. This it's shit's giving up the pussy. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, so, I know, I know, I know. I used to go to Bible study to get some ass, right? So, anyway, it's true. It was a true story, right? It's fucking, you can't make it up. All right, but, but there's more to it because I used to go, once you get to the Bible study and you're sitting in, you're sitting in Central Park with all these Oh, these fucking hot chicks, right? Talking about God and Jesus and oh, so fucking erotic, right? And um, but but here's the here's the kicker. Here's the here's the tie-in, if you will, to to what I want to try to say today is that a lot of the times these oops is that you would read. I never knew. I don't know anything about the Bible. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is here's the Bible and they're reading from the Bible and we would go around the. The, the the exotic circle and and read from the good book right and I'd, I'd read something and I'd say uh, you know uh, blah 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 whatever and then and then I would people would open the discussion up to what was just read and it, the interpretation of what was read is something totally different than than what I read that's what I'm trying to say right what the words the actual words over time have come to mean something else and to argue what 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 happens is you say oh no wait, wait, wait a second wait a second it doesn't what you're saying that's not what i just read and then they would come back and said oh well you don't understand the the interpretation of the the biblical verse that you just read and there's a long history and it has been evaluated by great uh, uh theological minds over the over time right and that's to me that's bullshit Right, because it is what it is that the evidence that all things lie in evidence. So you could keep your pussy, and I'm out of here. <laughs> so, but 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 here's the thing, Q. See, I come from I come from from the side of the fence where where there has to be evidence. There has to be factual evidence, right? Not necessarily. Uh, uh, direct evidence like a dead body or a gun or bullets or uh, a testimony a video testimony or a, you know something like that where it's where it's direct a, 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 a confession right but in you can compound indirect evidence as well in the case of Q <coughs> unfortunately we don't really have evidence we have more of this this piling on of of theory a very very minute circumstantial evidence that is then tied into a bigger conspiracy right so so this i mean i again i don't i don't dive 
too deep into Q, and I know I may lose a lot of people, but I'm just going to look at, at the current state of Q. And one of the great professors of that theory, which is the young Jordan Sather of destroy the illusion, right? Now, th you could interpret this as a hit piece, but it really isn't because I'm, I'm, I'm deeply concerned with my country at this point because, again, you have John Brennan, the CIA director, saying that the CIA doesn't do evidence anymore, that the courts are now taking that lead where they don't look at evidence. They look at spycraft and propaganda, right? So when you look at what you, the evaluation I'm going to dive into with, with Jordan is that when you look at the evidence, right, there's no, it's not supporting the theory. There's no, there's no evidence to support this theory that Trump is to the, that Q is to the right of Trump, right? Because the evidence is that Trump is not shy whatsoever. Trump has a Twitter account. He goes right out and goes right out into the public, sometimes ten times a day, and speaks his mind. He also goes into the 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 the, the heartland, you know, and 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 gets on the soapbox and and speaks directly to the crowd, professing his his theory and his his uh, his will to the people, right? So. Where does Q fit in? Right? Q is is a, uh, and I'm not going to call it some deep state, deep dark psyop, and it's it's a lot simpler than that. It's it's like it's pulp fiction. <coughs> Kids, when I was a kid, we watched Star Trek, right? Star Trek was brilliant. I mean, Star Trek took you to to galaxies far and beyond, and and it was like, you know, you'd land on these exotic planets and they'd eat this exotic fucking food. And, and you know, and it was just like, you know, the, you know, ex like fucking because it was in well, the early stuff was in the 60s. You see, like fucking 60s orgies breaking out. Shit, right? Fucking swaggering some pussy. Right? So you had all this, this, you know, but we had that was our that was our our fiction. Yellowtail pizza. Get stuck. <coughs> I still got. <coughs> All right, can we get a <coughs> cup of water for Michael, please? Save the action. I don't think this is a rant. <laughs> keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah. Settle. Oh, well, okay. You guys get a little Wait. closer together. Keep the bridge. Okay. okay. That's good. Captain. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. Magnetic seals in the in there. <laughs> Captain. That's Captain, <laughs> Captain, magnetic seals in there. God, Jesus! Guys, stay on. Engage. No, don't engage. Um, energize. energize. <laughs> That's what we say in this room. Energize. <laughs> the more they put in, whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for battering on the floor. Oh! Before that was sci-fi magazines, right? They write it down because there was no TV, right? <laughs> right? And so, so... And then it was Pulp Fiction, that, that, that idea of, but the, here's the deal. We know it's fiction, right? We know it's sci-fi. Now, people will say, oh, Conti, you don't have any solution. Q knows the answer, and you, you have no faith. You're fucking just a, you're just a pussy-sniffing motherfucker going to the park to get pussy fucking, you don't know nothing, Conti. What do you know? You're talking about, you're talking about uh, don't go to work, and that's going to solve all the problems. Don't, don't pay your bills, you fucking idiot. Huh? You fucking jerk off, you fucking stupid ass. Right? That's what you guys are going to say, right? But, see, my theory is based in fact, right? My theory is based in evidence, right? Because it, if you destabilize the banking system, right? If you destabilize the oligarchy that is controlling you, then you, then you have victory. Victory is in sight. Now, is it a theory that 99% of the people in the country are controlled by the 1%? No, that's not a theory. That's a fact, right? And you're right. It's a it's factual that that the wealth is accumulated, and maybe two or three million people in the country control the wealth. And at the top of that is maybe ten or fifteen or twenty people <clears throat> that actually make the decisions that affect you. So these are facts, right? And the things that I'm going to show you in this video with that uh, with, you know the 
the, uh, the, the QAnon theory, right? The Pulp Fiction, the Star Trek, the, the YouTube version of Star Trek where reality, political reality is mixed in with fantasy and fiction, right? Be, right? And, 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 the, and why is it dangerous? Because it's a holding pen for, for stupidity, <laughs> For, for stagnation, right? When water doesn't flow, it gets mucky and green and moldy and all kinds of shit starts to grow in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and, um, and there lies the problem, right? It gets, it, it's diseased, right? So you have to keep the water, the water flowing, right? And ideas like, like, um, like QAnon is, is a whole, wait, it's a holding pen. Wait, soon, may, the next dump, right? Now, I've heard all of these commentators, you know, th there's there's Lionel Nation, there's there, there was Corsi, there's this Jordan Sather, and and, and uh, I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of them, right? But 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 they've been saying soon, may late, you know, we we already know that that the the system is deeply corrupted and that the the people that you're waiting to see prosecuted is not going to happen because those are the people that do the prosecuting, right? It's, it, you know, it's a, so you have to take down the whole, you have to take down the whole pile, take down all, they all got to come down, right? So for the first post, you can see here, we get a photograph and a couple lines of text, the photograph of the inside of a building and the text, the first one looks to be a stringer, something maybe to an operator in the field, don't necessarily know. And then Q says, we know. So those Anons, those brilliant brained Anons on 8chan, they quickly found that this photograph is actually from China. It's from the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Chongqing, China. And you can see the same floor, same lamps there. And then Q saying, we know, under the photograph. I take that to mean that maybe last night there was a meeting at the Hyatt Regency Hotel that some bad actors attended. He's a handsome kind of guy, right? And he's articulate and he's young and he's a millennial and he's but let's look at what he's saying, right? He's talking about a photograph, right? Of of a hotel in China. Right? And from that, right, a stringer <laughs> a stringer of of weird notes, weird letters is 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 a communication to those out in the field, right? They're communicating out in the field, right? And Q says, we know, right? Right? That's all you have. You got a picture, some maybe fucking Google image, right? Of a, of a photograph that somebody lifted out of a fucking Google image of a hotel in China, Qigong, whatever, whatever he said. And, and that is an interpretation of something brilliant, fucking deep fucking brilliant ev ev evolving f event that's going to happen that's what that's what's going to evolve that's what i see when i look at the picture so, okay so this is what i'm trying to say is it's fantasy there's no there's no there's no reality to any of it it's a helicopter passing over my house can you hear that shit they're coming to get me <laughs> that's real you can really hear it so there's no, there's no, there's no evidence. It's just a fucking picture. God damn it. It's just a picture. And don't tell me I don't understand. Oh, Conti, you, you haven't been following. You don't know when Q puts a picture out. It means something and it's going to, it's going to happen. You, you fucking, you're not listening, man. You're not paying it. Dude, you, you're not paying attention. Give me that. You're not paying attention, man. Ah, shit's legal now, man. You're not paying attention, dude. You're fucking stupid, man. You're fucking stupid. Stupid ass fucking Howard Stern motherfucker. You got it. Fucking got it. So let's watch some more. And these bad actors thought they were meeting in secret and they were so protected. But obviously, Q, it's the NSA. I mean, they can find whatever the heck you're typing on any computer or you say around any devices like this if they want to. So... These people really are dumb thinking that they're meeting in secret. I would imagine that Q probably swiped this photograph on one of their phones and then threw it up on the chans this morning. And just imagine, imagine you're 
one of those deep state folk and you think you're meeting in secret and then you wake up this morning and check the chans and see the picture that you took on it. <laughs> That's got to make him nervous. So he has a good laugh. Huh? <laughs> That's fucking stupid asses, right? He's pointing the finger saying they're fucking stupid asses, right? He says Q is NSA. <clears throat> I thought Q was the president. I thought Q was the right of the president. Was that the last? That was last week, right? Last week he was the right of the president. He's Q, right? Okay, so fucking Q is now the NSA, right? These people are dumb. <laughs> he's calling, he's calling the people somewhere dumb, right? It's a secret meeting. It just gets deeper and sillier and more convoluted and more hurting the country. By dragging people down this Pulp Fiction rabbit hole, right? When the answers are right in front of us, right? like like the Trump, Trump is telling you, tells you on a daily basis. He releases <clears throat> his thoughts and his feelings via Twitter. Why is it? Why why are you digging into some some bullshit ch Fortran, Etran, fucking stupid Japanese website? And saying that that's the president of the United States' leak to the people. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Let's see if there's any other redeemable quality to any of this. Stand by. So Q saying we know, and in the last post we get here, it says a picture is worth many sentences. Pun, 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 pun. Double meanings exist. On one hand, a picture is worth many words, words and sentences. But on the other hand, a picture is also worth many prison sentences and in this photograph at least i'm sure these bad actors were probably meeting treasonously treason you can see the tree there treason season haha <laughs> pun pun so now the great psychic is looking at the picture and he sees a tree right it's a christmas tree because it's a fucking christmas season right but it's treason oh you see you, you don't know what you see you need you need to be you know everything has a double meaning right he's saying right it's fucking double meaning the secret meeting the double meaning of things and the tree means treason <laughs> see see how stupid you are you didn't know that you're fucking stupid man you didn't know that the tree is treason that 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 the that the deep state is going to get convicted of treason because there's a tree in the picture in the hotel in china you didn't you can't figure that out what are you fucking stupid so that's it for the q's posts and interweaving all of that with what q's been telling us now let's go over that attack that q hate and it all comes from the daily beast and this one came yesterday it's pretty ridiculous i mean truly what they're doing is just like giving us stuff to talk about like giving us content because we get to pick apart their pathetic journalism. So, I mean, thank you guys. It really, it's a blessing. It's an honor. And right here, the Daily Beast is saying, birds aren't real is the conspiracy theory mocking QAnon. And this whole birds aren't real thing, I've been seeing it around for a couple weeks. So you see that it's, he's blaming the, he blames the mainstream media for attacking them, laughing at them, saying that the bird is not the bird anymore and all that shit, right? But the, the reality is that you're no greater. See, what you're doing is similar to Russia, Russia, Russia. Don't you see that? That your, your assumption, your rabbit hole that you're trying to drag people down is a theory based on no facts whatsoever. It's spin that is, again, it, it just it comes from nowhere. The president is revealing his cards. A lot of the things that Q twists is already revealed in the tweets or it comes from a talk that Trump gave from the podium <clears throat> right and but what's what what's what's startling here is that uh, a a young man right like like Mr. Sather is not able to see that he's just as as stuck on an idea about Q as Rachel Maddow is stuck on an idea of Russia See, see, I can't, I can't get angry at at the young Jordan Sather. I can only, I can, I can, because I believe he believes it, or at least he believed the concept of Q, in the very beginning. And as it changes, the reinterpretation kicks in. Oh no, no, no! Oh, that's what he meant, right? And then, 
and you go further and further into the into the weeds and to to step away from it and say uh, this is all a farce is to have to admit that you were wrong in the beginning.